hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today thank you once again for joining me today please subscribe and like comment and share and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be the first to get notified anytime i upload in a new video so please guys i want you to come here come over here and listen i want to talk to people that have negative thinking if you are if you are struggling with negative thinking you have to change your mode of thinking right now you have to tune it to positive thinking your life won't change until your thinking changes i spent a lot of years unhappy because the minute i i woke up in the morning i started thinking negative sad depressing things now i can truly say i'm fully satisfied since the holy spirit has helped me operate with the mind of christ that is within me maybe you have spent years thinking wrong thoughts but that can change to, but um, that can change today if you struggle with negative thinking it's important for you to come to grace with the fact that your life won't change until your thinking does renewed godlike thinking is vital for change the bible presents a lot of detailed instruction on what kinds of things we should think about philippians 4 chapter uh, philippians chapter 4 verse 8 alone tells us to think about things that build us up not tear us down i want to issue a challenge instead of waking up in the morning and immediately thinking negative thoughts i want you to pick a positive truth from scripture and focus on it every day when you wake up pick up a scripture a truth from the scripture and focus on it every day you or every day when you wake up because that's going to help you a lot let god's word grow in you and transform your mind fix your mind on good things and enjoy the godly changes it brings try it today and you will not regret it there is nothing important than god's words Pursuing all these vanities in this world, all these worldly things, it is it, very it's useless. It can't take us to anywhere. So only focus on God's words, and you will not regret it, because life is full of vanities. Nothing is permanent in this world. So why are you pursuing lies? Pursuing lies because everything about these worldly things are lies. You come into this world nakedness and you will go back naked. That's for that is one short sure thing. So let us pray, my dear. God, I'm ready to change and live with the mind of Christ. Help me to help us to only think about what is true, honorable, pure, lovely, kind, gracious, virtuous, whatever is of you. So please uh, meditate on this cell, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. With this uh, chapter, with this verse on this Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, I will end this video today. Thank you once again for joining me today. Please let us always focus on God because although good things, although the worldly things are good, not all, there are good things in this world, but you don't make it as your priority in life. God, will, good, God should be your priority. Focus on, on, our, on our Lord Jesus Christ. Always thank him for coming to this world to die for our sins. And everything shall fall back online to, for you. So thank you once again for joining me today. God bless you all and stay blessed forever. Bye.